Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, Higher Guidance Life Coach. So today I want to talk about feeling like you're out of alignment with your life, feeling like you're out of alignment with your life purpose even. A few years ago, I was just feeling totally stuck and out of alignment, out of balance, nothing felt comfortable anymore. Um, I was working too much, I wasn't eating right, I wasn't having very much fun. <laughs> I had moved to an area to be closer to my family, but yet I wasn't getting together with my family very often. I just felt like I was so stuck in my life, like my life revolved around work and if I got a little bit of free time, well, you know, maybe I'd go out and do something fun with my husband. And so I didn't know what to do to get out of it. And I know that there's a lot of people who feel this way. They feel stuck in a job or their career, or they feel stuck with the same group of friends that don't light them up anymore. Maybe they feel like they just need to release some of that baggage and find a new set of friends or find a new job or career. And I have felt that way at various times throughout my life. And it's really taken me some time to work on myself to get out of that because it's been a whole pattern throughout my life. And so I'm at a place now where I am much more balanced. I am much more alignment with my purpose in my life. I am so much happier. And so, you know, some of the things that you might think about as you're on, if you're on this journey and you don't know how to get out of it, is think about some of the major areas of your life and where you're at with that. So some of the major areas of your life could be um, your career. It could be money. It could be family relationships or friendships. Um, it could be fun. Don't have enough fun. It could be your physical environment. Uh, it could be your health or it could be spirituality. So those are some of the major areas of our lives. And if you think about those, where do you have most of your emphasis? Where does most of that stuckness come from? Where does most of the anxiety come from? And where are you really lacking? So for me, I was really lacking in fun. Um, I was starting to lack in exercise. I, I've been pretty good about exercising most of my adult life. But there's been times where I just started kind of sliding on the eating, sliding on the exercising. Suddenly, I just didn't feel comfortable. So, you know, what could you do to change these areas where you're stuck? You know, if it has to do with the health issue, what, can, what changes can you make there? If it has to do with career, if you feel like me, where I just felt totally stuck in my work and didn't have enough fun, what can you do to kind of break free from that? For me, spirituality was a big one too. I wasn't doing anything. The only books I was reading for years were business and marketing books. And I am so done with reading business and marketing books, right? So I really spent any free time that I did have, I wanted to get read more and learn more about spirituality. So this was a few years ago and, and now I've read so many books and learned so much more that I devote more of my time to that now because it lights me up, it fuels me. Um, and getting outside in the environment, that also helps, you know, as many times as I can get outside and go for a walk, that lights me up. So I just want you to think about where you are in balance with these different areas of your life. And if you feel like you're having too much emphasis on one, two or three areas, think about how you can free up a little bit of time and give yourself some more balance. Give yourself a little more fun if that's what you need. Give yourself a little more exercise if that's what you need. Um, but that's one way to get started with getting your life more into alignment. And so when you do that, when you feel like you're more in alignment with your life and in all these different areas of your life, you're going to start feeling better about yourself. You're probably going to start feeling better about your purpose in life because maybe you're going to reveal something um, purposeful in your life. Now, I'm not saying that you necessarily need to have an entire career around your purpose. Um, I'm thinking of someone I know who is, you know, her purpose in life is kindness. She is the kindest person I've ever met. And she used to own a restaurant with her husband, and it was actually called the Kindness Cafe. And so her name is Lisa, and she's in the Minneapolis area. 
and um, she was amazing with her kindness cafe. Well, they ended up closing that down eventually. Now she's a flight attendant and her mission in life is to spread kindness throughout the travels that she has through her job as a flight attendant. So, you know, she has all these passengers um, she just spreads kindness. She's written a book on spreading kindness, you know, so that became her purpose. She leads a very purposeful life. It's not necessarily her career. It's just what she does. It's who she is. And so, you know, that's the kind of thing that can come out of feeling balance in your life. So I hope you took away a couple of points there that will help you get unstuck. Um, my last little tidbit is if you do want to get unstuck, you really have to take action. It's nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to take you by the hand and say, okay, we're going to go out and do this and this, or, you know, you're going to read this book. You have to take the action yourself. You have to be motivated enough to take one little step. One little step needs leads to the next and so forth. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took away some um, ideas from this and I hope you get unstuck in your life and that you can get your life back into alignment. Uh, if you would like to work with me, one of the things that I do as a higher guidance life coach is I connect to your higher guidance. I connect to that part of you that knows your purpose, that knows what you're supposed to be doing with your life. And so I can um, do a discovery session with you and we can you can get a taste of what that's like. So just go to the website at jeanhanson.com, J-E-A-N-H-A-N-S-O-N.com. And right at the top of the page, you'll see you can do a discovery session. Um, or if you want to sign up for a coaching session, you can do that as well. So I hope to see you soon. And also, if you'd like to join my Facebook group, um, I'd love to have you do that. So we've got links to that on the website as well. Thanks and have a great day.